The Great Debate. DMAC here with my boy Gandhi. A lot to talk about. We made our last episode pre-E3. And a lot of shit went down since. Including some interesting news last night that there will be no spectator mode in Halo 4. I, I, I don't get it, D. I, I seriously just, I don't understand. This is 2012, and we can't get a simple spectator mode in. But here's the thing. We talked to them over the weekend. I know. Uh, you you talked to Kevin Mitchell. I talked to Kevin Mitchell. Talked to William Archibald, who is the fucking man, by the way. We, we yep. got to chill with a, a few of these guys. One of them was the lead multiplayer designer on the game. Uh, one of them handled the PvP. And, and, and you know what? They seem pretty receptive to spectator mode. So a, a release statement two days later saying that it doesn't have it, I'm not so convinced that that is ultimately the case. That's all I'm saying, Scott. All right, well, let, let's talk about this because on our forums right now at the halocouncil.com, people are saying that, oh, it's only because it, only competitive cares about it. It doesn't hold any significance to the casuals. Uh, first, um, I just want to address this right away. If you enjoy playing the game, you probably enjoy watching it to a certain, you know, respect. So if you're waiting for your buddies to finish a game, how nice would it be to be able to get invited to that custom game and then be able to watch them play as you're waiting around instead of getting up around your house and walking around? You may see some cool stuff happen, and then you can talk about that. That's for yeah. the casual. Now let's talk about it for the competitive. Now Halo Reach and Halo all throughout all of MLG is the most expensive title to run on the circuit because you have to capture... All eight point Absolutely. of views. You have to capture all eight point of views and then throw them in a four way splitter and then be able to switch and amongst. They them. understand that. Do they? They understand that because I said it, and he completely understood what I was saying. So why wouldn't they put it in? Like it's going to help promote longevity. But regardless of that, the problem with it is is now that Halo Reach is now or Halo Four has the potential to be a complete failure in the competitive scene because. Really, only MLG can put on a production for Halo, as we have all seen. Other yeah, other leagues can only capture like two or three, two or three POVs max, and then sometimes their system crashes because due, due to you know not having the technology like that. That's yeah, terrible for us. And and plus, I mean, let's just look at like frag cups and stuff like uh, Fwiz and the guys from Machinima do. It's all online. They're able to stream it, so they make the revenue from there. So the entry, if there's even an entry fee, is extremely low, and they're able to make their numbers from that. But without that, it's like, what what do we do? I, I, I just don't get it. It's very frustrating when, when you know, you hear, not yes, but, but you hear that they understand. And then two days later, you get the no. I, I hope, I hope it's, it's, false information that we just received because if you're saying that you can't put up the money for spectator mode you're saying you don't belong in the same ring with gears of war yep. and call of duty because they're able to put spectator modes in their game so uh, as a halo fan that really disappoints me to make me think that uh we're limited because i don't believe so halo was here uh just as long as Call of Duty has been here, and, and along in the Gears of War, it should be more advanced in that type of way. So uh, it's disappointing. I hope it's not true, man. I, I really, really hope it's not true. Like I said, we heard positive things to, to make us think that we would be receiving spectator mode. So this was a bombshell on us. Like, whoa, we were so surprised. Yeah, and as I was talking about it this morning, and I was really not talking, I was more or less complaining about it, uh, Quinn from Epic was actually, he tried to give me a different perspective. He was saying it's a, it's a time problem because, you know, that game has to ship out mid-September, so we do take that into consideration. But really, in case patch. 343 doesn't... Patch it up. Yeah, yeah, exactly, patch it up. But in case 343 uh, isn't sure what exactly we, the competitive scene, since that's the only one who give a shit about the spectator mode, want in a spectator mode, all we want is this. We want to be able to capture everyone's point of view, first person, and in custom games. I don't need to join into their matchmaking games. I need to just be able to watch their custom games. I don't care if you make... Just make it two additional spots like Gears of War has. In their custom games, you have one spot on each team for a spectator mode, and each person on that team can cycle through all eight players. 
That's all we need. I don't even yeah. need a map overlay. All I'm saying is, is for this game to live in the competitive atmosphere, it has to have a spectator mode. Absolutely. And you know what? The spectator mode is going to bring casual fans yeah. uh, into the game. Uh, they're going to be sitting down, watching competitive Halo, being intrigued by the sport, like so many people who have entered the world of MLG have. Uh, and you're talking all range of ages. I think spectator mode is what you need to get the 40-year-old male into Halo. And it's possible. I, so? I've seen it happen. You, uh, you think it's so, possible? The 40-year-old yeah, male? Yeah, I really do. Look at Mr. Pinocchio. Okay. He didn't really play. Hey, he watched his sons play, but he loved Halo. Okay. He loved watching it. He thought it was a sport. And you know what? MLG is really only where it was able to live. Because they limited spectator vote. And, and it's such a big deal to us, and that's why you'll hear us complaining about it. But, Scotty, we had a lot more happen. Uh, we talked about meeting with 343 over the weekend at Anaheim. That's just the beginning. Let's talk about what you did at E3. Uh, what were your overall thoughts of Halo 4? Do you think that we have a good game? Uh, Halo 4, uh, from what I played, there is individual skill. That's back in, which is always awesome to see. You can turn around when, and outshoot when's someone. When's the last time we've had individual skill? Uh, probably Halo 2. Okay. I, I'm not sure if I agree with Halo 3 had a lot of individual skill. You couldn't turn around and outshoot someone. Uh, that's the one thing. It's pretty much unanimous. Uh, the ordnance drops, they're weird to get used to. Everything else, is, it's, it's free-flowing. It feels a little bit like Halo 2 pre-patch. Um, so there's, it's definitely reach, but better. Uh, the sprint is mandatory in it. Uh, we've covered this all in the other videos, but uh, really, I, this without spectator mode, man, it's kind of like, uh, God, our fate lies in MLG's hands. Like, and that's what's terrifying. That's the only thing I don't like. Yes, MLG does has done us so well, but if the game doesn't produce, now since they're setting North American records for live streams, if the game doesn't produce, we're going to get dropped. And then we're going to sit here and be like, oh, how do we get back? Halo 5! And we're back well, in the same circle, man. Here's my thing. I think 343 have some really smart dudes working for them. Okay? I think they were at MLG Anaheim last weekend scoping it out, checking it out, seeing what's what. If they were there and they have no... They, they don't think that Halo 4 is going to be that type of competitive title, uh, then there was no reason for them to be there. If, if they're there, and, hey, while they were there, we told them, there's spectator mode here on every single game. And, and that's really the big key to bring a game into the competitive world. And that's why Halo Reach died. Yep. Well, that's They don't understand that. And, and I think that they do. You know, whether we get know. spectator mode when the game drops or whether we get it a month later, it's all good as long as we get spectator mode. Uh, final Absolutely. thoughts before we wrap up episode two. Uh, we're praying for the first patch to have a spectator mode. Anything else, to, <laughs> Uh Check out the next episode. We're, we're going to talk about, Scotty, what if there was a Halo Reach tournament in Anaheim? Who would have won? Who would have done well? Who would have got dropped? MVP. All that coming up in Episode 3. Uh, probably going to drop in a day or two. So be on the lookout for that. Woot woot. Take care, guys.